Hi, my name is Heather, and I'm going to be doing an introductory free art lesson on a basing glazing technique. Now, if you're anything like me, I hate staring at a blank white canvas, so I like to tone it down. A lot of people just kind of use one color, get it out of the way, but I really like to use the Charbon painting medium, and I usually start off with opposite colors, but kind of neutral versions of those colors. So I have a shade of purple and a shade of yellow. But as you can see, they're a little bit more muted and lighter. So I thin my paints and I come in and decide where I want to have darker areas. And then just kind of paint around the canvas. So now I'm going to come in with a little bit of yellow. Now I want to make sure that where I'm putting this yellow in at first, I don't have, I make sure it doesn't touch that purple because I'm going to do that a little bit later. Now the reason I didn't want that purple and the yellow mixing at first is because um, with them mixing you'll end up getting a gray kind of neutral color across the entire canvas. But now on these edges I can get that neutral gray without messing up the yellow or, or the purple. So you come in and you lightly blend the edges. You don't want to really use add more color at first. You just kind of maybe add a little bit more medium to blend it. And you can either choose to keep those brush strokes or blend them all in. Now I'm actually going to cheat a little bit and mix them on the palette. All right, so now you have this nice washy background. And if that's good enough and you're ready to start painting, go for it. If you want to add a little bit more depth and create a little bit more of a composition before you even get started, then for this painting, I'm going to go in with some dark browns and a very bright yellow. Now when you're doing these, you want to make sure that you start these colors out very sparingly. Um, with our initial colors, it was just kind of go for it and put the colors wherever you want. But for these, you kind of want to take it a little bit more slow. So I'm going to start with a little bit of Van Dyke Brown. Again, painting medium. And that right there is good enough for me for the amount of paint that I'm planning on using. Now, after that, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of yellow. And again, you wanna realize how intense these colors are gonna be against the background that you've already created. When 
you're blending the paint, you want to make sure that you're barely touching the canvas. You don't want your bristles to even really be bending much on the canvas. So again, good stopping point. If you want to start your painting from here, go ahead. Um, another thing you might want to do is go back in with your original colors and add in some darker spots. Now glazing is a really slow process. So, you know, for this, you're gonna wanna give it time to dry before you put on your next layer. And as I said, you can do as much or as little as you want. But the point of it is really just to have a background as a starting point. But feel free to play around with it and try out different colors and try out your own methods. Um, you can check out some more of my free art lessons or you can check out my website at heatherelisart.com. Thanks.